All right, moving on, we got a question here from Andrew. Andrew says, I'm starting a PhD. How would you approach a PhD knowing what you know now regarding deep work, et cetera? Um, Andrew, assuming you're looking for an academic job, assuming that's why you're doing a PhD, care a lot more about the research topic right now. When you're very new, you've got to think, where is there heat right now just beginning to emerge in my field? And I want to be working on something like that with the best possible people who are helping to develop that field. I underestimated this, I would say, in my PhD program. I didn't think about it. I just said, I'll deal with the job market when I deal with the job market. But really what you want to be doing, if, if your goal is to get an academic job, is to say, I want to align myself with someone who's doing something very hot right now. Because here's what's going to happen when I enter the job market. They're going to say, we want, you know, whatever your advisor's name is. And then the, the response will be, well, she's not available. She already has a job. They'll say, all right, well, can we get basically like a clone of this person who also knows how to do that work? Like, great, who is her student? Let's get that person instead. That's where the really good job offers come from. That's what opens up options. So care a lot about what research you're working on and then get in the habit of working on research every single day. I'm going to suggest the first three hours of every day. The first three hours of every day, you're reading stuff relevant to a paper or article or essay you want to write, or you're directly writing a paper, uh, article, or essay. So three hours a day, every day, you're always doing work. That adds up. Produce, 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 okay? So align yourself with the, the hottest topic you can. Someone who's doing great work on a field that's emerging really makes such a difference. We really underplay topic. Research topic is so much, so important on the job market. It's not just, here's a generic talent. It's like we're hiring for this topic. And then B, three hours, three hours every day. And also in your writing, don't do what I just did, which was enumerated one followed by B. <laughs> that's the type of stuff that's not going to go well in your you know, article for whatever academic journal. All right. He's getting his PhD in film studies. Yeah. And I was wondering what your thoughts on, you know, even on that film study kick with books and stuff. Do yeah. a lot of people have PhDs in film studies? Um, no, but there, it's a department at, at yeah. a lot of universities, but not every university, right? So it's not as widespread as like English or something. Um, but film studies is a great example. I mean, basically in film studies, you need to be aligning yourself with an emerging framework of critique that seems to have a lot of heat around it. That's mm -hmm. what I would say. And then you need to start reading all that and writing in that as early as possible align yourself with someone who's doing really great work with that new, that new framework or, or type of critique and, and master it, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that, and you gotta be doing reviews and essays like pretty early on. That's mm -hmm. what I would say. Yeah. Film studies would be cool. Yeah. I read that textbook. It's a complicated field, man. That, yeah, that's why I was curious. Yeah. It gets, it's all, it's all complicated. I mean, a lot of it, it's like any other field I think right now. So like whatever the, there's like theoretical frameworks that it, they get popular and then they infuse lots of different fields. Like film studies is very susceptible to that. So um, whatever is big at the time. So if we, if we were talking 15 years ago, you're going to get a lot of sort of post-colonial theory or queer theory. And now there's like a lot more specifically postmodern critical theory subsets that are like really injecting themselves through, through film studies. So like probably what you should do in film studies is look to an emerging theoretical framework that's generating a lot of heat uh, in another major field that hasn't yet made it to film studies or is just making it there and then be one of the people that helps usher it in. That's, that's like a pretty sure path to uh, academic jobs. All right, Andrew. 